Joining me to quaff at this future trough is Adrian Edmonton. Adrian has eaten food in the past and has at times actually made dinner, but he's about to have his culinary parameters radically reordered. OK, well, here we are. And do you come here often? I come here all the time now. In my utopian eatery, the out-of-work actors who previously delivered food have been swept away by the hot blast of Gadget. Unveil. Look at that, that's Baxter. He's got a face like a very angry Viking. Yeah. Um, His expressions have been closely modelled on mine. <laughs> very much. Yeah. Baxter is a robot who can be programmed by anyone and is ideal for repetitive tasks. Isn't this quicker and more efficient than an actual person doing it? <laughs> you missed it, mate. He's used in factories for things like packing, but he could just as easily be waiting on tables. Can you imagine a more romantic gesture than this? Yeah. Baxter knows not to ask if I want to smell this wine, and from now on, I do not have to. Look at this. I have the Cyrano's. The Cyrano's. Yeah, it has been programmed to detect the chemical difference between good wine and corked wine. Well, that's that's going to be very useful. Isn't it's it? going to be it's going to be a game changer. Let's draw in the sample. If I was a woman on a romantic date with you, I would be feeling very aroused by now. That's normally what they say at this stage. Yes. It says that the wine is okay. Well, thank Let you. Let romance much. commence. Yes. Adrian is stunned by the way the Foodipto app places his order directly without the need for tiresome human interaction. Oh, I see. I think I've ordered. Have you? Have I? Already? What did you order? See if it's coming. Hot right it's coming. Adrian's burger is already under construction. OK, well, this is the kitchen. There's no one here. Yes. That's also part of the plan. Do, do approach this the world's first 3D food printer. What, what is it doing? How is well, it Well, okay, well, it has various cartridges into which food is put, and then it squeezes it out in these intricate shapes. Is it a food printer or is it a food squirter? In a way, what is a printer doing? Squirting. Squirting. Yes. Okay. While our main courses are extruded, there's just time for an amuse-bouche. This is going to simulate a taste. You just have to put your tongue in here and it will, it will electronically simulate a taste because, you know, it's very tedious getting taste from food. The digital lollipop has two silver probes which attach to the tongue to simulate sweet and sour taste receptors. That's sour. And then while it's you're too, doing that... Yeah. It's too sour. It is pretty sour. Now, yeah. this is going to release an aroma which, coupled with this, is going to just take our I tell you, noses well, this, off. This is a, a dieter's dream. It isn't sure it? beats eating. Yeah. This, I have to say, I rather like. You like? This is, a this bit is like... actually a rather tasty lemon. Ah. Mm. And what were you getting from this? Toilet duck. Well, there's no higher praise than that. Mm. I'm still hungry. Well, that's what thin air will do to you. Yeah. Now, the mains. Back, sir. Oh, oh yes, he's, he's coming. Here we go. He seems very confident Ooh. about that. Oh, there he goes. I think you spooked him. That was faultless. Yep. OK, do you want to commence eating your printed yes, I burger? Do, I really... This does feel futuristic, I have to say, the idea of eating printed food. Does it taste like food? It does taste like food. It sort of tastes like hospital food. OK, well, you've demolished that burger. Let's clear it away. Baxter. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Look at that. Well, I think that says a lot about um, my relationship with Baxter. Baxter is quite hostile towards you. <laughs> <laughs>